Michael from Compare the Financial Markets and today we're at the Imitate Modern Gallery in London with Tyler Shields. Just have a few questions for you Tyler. Please. Yeah. People say you're a great investment and um, your prices just keep going up and up and up. Can you tell us a bit about yeah. the investment and the collectors? Yeah, I think, you know, it started out when I, when I first started getting collectors who would come on board. Um, it, it excited me and so uh, when I did the chromatic series, you know, I met with a few collectors and I, I said, you know, I gave them the option to get some of them first. And when I did the mouthful series, um, it was the same thing. And, and now, you know, I've got a great group of people who really love to collect the work. And the first photo I ever sold uh, in, in a 20 by 30 size was $500. And that was seven years ago and I just sold one for $500,000. So that's a pretty, it's a pretty big margin. So 500 to start? $500 to start. And most recently 500,000. 500,000. And that's in a seven year period. It's a pretty good, you know, it's a pretty good investment. And uh, for example, uh, the pieces that we have here, mm -hmm. um, submerged. Yeah. Um, do you think they're a good investment? Absolutely, I think, I think that with the series, you know, and look, you obviously you want to invest in something that you love. You know, if you see one of the pictures and you love it, uh, you want to invest in that. But you also love to own it. But as a, from a business standpoint, it's like, I'm only going to continue working and continue building. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people like, I, I'm not in this for anything other than to be known as the greatest of all time. So, if I achieve my goal, your investment will only, you know, 10 times, 20 times, 30 times what you, what you get it for now. And um, I think that's something to be proud of. But if you're looking to invest, you know, for instance, when we first debuted the Birkin series, uh, the Birkins were, I think, I think they were $10,000. Um, and now the last one we sold was 75,000. That's in the matter of a year. So in a year, it went from 10,000 to 75. And the Submerged series, this is the last series that we'll do probably at this price point. Okay. Everything is going to just go up and up. And, and the, the first person who bought the Birkin series, they got it cheaper and now, I, I believe that that series will be, each photo will probably be worth a million within the next five years. Is it true mm -hmm. that you took the half a million dollars mm -hmm. from the sale of a photograph. Yeah, Scott Patterson, an actor. So um, I, I'd done this photo shoot and I'd gotten this photo that was, uh, you know, one of the big things for me is I don't use Photoshop, right? So everything we do, we do for real. If you see somebody flying through the air, they're flying through the air. If you see people underwater, they're actually underwater. And um, I'd taken this perfect photo of these two people just flying towards each other. And it was just one of those one in a million shots. and. Um, I was getting ready to put it up in a gallery and an actor buddy of mine came over and I showed it to him and he just lost it. He was like, I have to have that photo. What's the biggest I can get it? And I said, the biggest size I offer is 16 feet. And um, a couple days later, he, he bought it for me for half a million dollars. And then I, I, I said to him, when, you know, it's funny because when, it, when he wanted to buy it, I said, I could take the money from this sale and make a movie with it, with the people who are in the photograph. And he's an actor and then he, he was like, well, anything you need for me? And he came on board and helped me produce the movie. And um, a big thing for me is I love to reinvest. So, you know, you can sell a photo for $500,000. You could do a lot with $500,000. You know, you can, you can buy a house in some countries, you can buy cars, you can buy a bunch of uh, expensive random things, buy one watch or you can make a movie with it. If you actually appreciate cinema, some of the most insane shots that you'll ever see in any movie is in this, no CGI.